My dad lent me this hydrofoil. I'll combine it with my long tail surfboard to see if it works. I know you could buy electric ones, but isn't it more fun to make my own? Let's see if it works. So I've measured up this end here and I'm just going to make a square box. Got the measurements here, starting to mark them out and this is exactly the right size. Why is everything so easy? I'm sick of burning through these aluminium discs, cutting aluminium. So I've set up the aluminium chopper. Okay, I've those all cut out all right. I'm in at work and I'm going to start tacking this stuff together. I mean, it cut all right, but it's a bit crooked. Ugh, why is everything so hard? I actually had a bit of trouble welding this off. It's 5mm aluminium plate. I had the welder on about 210 amps and that was almost maxed out and it was only just welding it. So the welds are a bit cold, but I think it'll be strong enough. Okay, let's try the fin. Ah, too tight. That'll go in there now with a bit of a love tap. I 3D printed these little pieces to take up the space. That one's a little bit wrong, but it'll work. So this is the board that I'm gonna stick this on. This plate will go on here somewhere, not quite sure where yet. So this is gonna be the setup. We've got this, uh, say it's eight horsepower motor, but it's like pretty much a Predator 212, what they call it in America. It's a long tail kit on it. So it'll allow me to go above the water and still get propulsion. But there's no way I'm going to be able to balance this with a hydrofoil on my first try. I'm going to end up flipping and sinking it. I made these pontoons a little while ago for another project. And I think I'll mount them to the side like trainer wheels for when I'm learning. Will this monstrosity work? Okay, just need to set up my high-tech fulcrum system. the board's ready to go so that's bolted right through into the lid now so it should make the fin more rigid which it has it's going to be super awkward to move this round thing around and set it up okay i've come up with an idea i'll just float it out with the hydrofoil off and then once i'm in the water i can just screw these on i just printed these i've got a nut inside screw those on underwater and we're out here ready to go okay I'm just pushing it out into the water now. The float seems to be walking, working. The motor's not sinking too much. Okay, I'm way offshore now. I wonder if these float. Yes, they do. That's good. I've got this wrapped to the spark plug, so if it dies, I'll disconnect. Oh no! Oh no! 
No! Oh no! Is it gonna turn around? Yeah. Okay. I gotta remember to yank the rope instead of letting it go. What? I did it. I foiled. Why is the motor not going properly now? Water's flicking up into the motor. It's getting on the uh, coil, stopping it. Oh, it worked. I mean, that fork got a lot of lift. Oh, it's the pump turns that are causing the problem. So the problem is. These are making a wake, which is spraying straight into the motor and making it cut out. You reckon it's water in the fuel or the... Um, it will be. It might be a little funny spark going on. Yeah, I reckon it's the yep. spark, eh? Okay, we've been playing around with the motor for a little while, but it's still not running right. I think it had something in the fuel and also water's just going into here and getting all over the coil. We could tape it up, but I still think it's going to be dramas, so... We might have another idea. The other one. Yeah. So this is the idea. My brother Stephen, he's got a uh, long shaft outboard. Four horsepower, right? Four horse. So hopefully it's long enough to reach the water. Nice and reliable, and way lighter. All right, we had a bit of an incident with the board. Driving along a private road in Mexico at about 80K, board flew off and um, went for a bit of a slide, so all my nuts are ground down. Hopefully I can still get it to work. Okay, the bolts are so munted, there's no way of uh, doing this in the water so we have to put it on here first and carry the board out with the foil on. Oh yeah, that's not so bad. It won't go into gear now, it's just bumping out of gear, so there's no way we can ride it, we've got to give up. Lots of failures leading to no success. If any of you guys in New Zealand have an outboard motor about 4 or 5 horsepower long shaft, let me know, I'll probably buy it off you. So next time I definitely need to move the foil further back, it was way too far forward. This motor's pretty heavy and cumbersome and the water was flicking up into it so that's why it stopped running. But it's going to work I think. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next one.